Hey hockey fans, welcome into another exciting matchup preview, or I should say end of the season recap, oh, yeah. as this officially is the last one. I know we've been keeping the suspense going, keep building saying it was yeah. the last one, but for real, this is actually our final one of the season, touching on the Division One men's team and Pat Strong joined by Rhett McGibbon and Rhett. Flames were able to go to Nationals this season, mm -hmm. finally able to crack through, get to the quarterfinals for the first time in a few seasons, and secure themselves a spot in the top eight of the nation. Talk a little bit about the National Tournament, though. Yeah, I think overall the season for the Flames was a success, and the fact that you you went there, you played a really good team in the first round, Arizona, and you you did amazingly well in that second period. Flames outshot the Wildcats 27 to one. Wow. Yeah, just smacking them around a little oh, yeah, bit. Oh yeah, yeah. It was a good down. showing by them. And then you move on to the next round. You play a, a fantastic Lindenwood club that came out on top, four to three. But a building block this year for the Flames. And they got some guys graduating, but a lot of the core is coming back. And uh, that experience is going to bode well for them in the future. Yeah. Speaking of building blocks, obviously that's what you were just touching on. I still had a fantastic year. Back-to-back yeah. -back regular season champs, uh, finishing runner-up in the conference tournament, and as you said, uh, just going to the quarterfinals. But yeah, the building blocks are there and really setting the pace for this Flames club to actually probably make a Final Four run next year. Yeah, a lot of pieces are there, and you bring in some guys. You know, there's some verbal commitments already. Flames look like they might be getting some added size, which will do well for them when it comes national time of the year. But when you got guys like Bohinski, Gammer, and you have Thompson and Ryan coming back, Pierce had a good showing at nationals, you're in good shape. So next year, you move into that same scenario, you're possibly taking on a team like Lindenwood again, you're gonna have a, you know, you're gonna be familiar with how it's gonna feel, what it's gonna be like, and you're gonna be able to elevate your game, that is. So the big question though, Pat, the big question is goaltending, because both guys yes. are moving on. Yeah, and with the big question being goaltending, I'm gonna pose another question for you. It's all about the recruiting. Yeah. So by able to be back to back two years in a row, finishing in the top 10, how much is that just gonna improve the Flames recruiting efforts this past, or sorry, this upcoming off season? Yeah, it's gonna be huge. And you just get guys to come on campus. I think that's the yeah. biggest thing. If you can get them to come on campus and just see how beautiful Liberty is, and then how nice the facilities are here, the rink is top notch, obviously, then you're going to be able to lock guys down. So yeah, recruiting, I don't think it's going to be hard at all for Kirk this summer when you have a program that's back in the top 10 consistently. You're the top dog in the ESCHL. I know you didn't win the conference championship this year, but still regular season titles, three years running. You are in good shape. And let's pull out our crystal ball here, here at Club Sports, okay. obviously, and wave it around real fast. And Rhett, let's just go into the future. Talk a little bit about now, I guess, this upcoming season for the Flames next year. Let's kind of look ahead, see where you think the Flames are going to he head out, not only ESHL, but where you think they're going to do national-wise as well. Well, I think the guys, the, like I was just talking about, got a taste of what it's like to win and what they need to do to improve on the season they've already had. So I think you'll see a more consistent effort from this team next year. I think they'll be even hungrier, you know, because there was a, an aspect of the unknown coming into this season. Can you get past that first round? Is this a team that does it? Do they have the makeup to be able to, to go deep at the national tournament? And now you saw that they did. You know, you took Lindenwood, who was number one for a large part of the season, in a one goal game you lost. So you took them right to the final buzzer. You, yeah. you pushed on late, you were down 4-1 in that game. You battled back, which is huge. So a lot of character in this room. I know it's gonna be a group that's kind of talking to each other throughout the summer, pushing each other to get better. And this is a team that I think can be the first Liberty team in quite some time to go to that final four and maybe even the national championship game. Well, we'll definitely have to wait and see. Rhett, always, thank you for your insight. Thank yeah. you for your insight all season long. Remember, if you haven't already done so, which I don't know what you're waiting for, make sure to follow the Flames on social media. Thank you for tuning in all season long and listening to this guy as well as the voice himself, but who wouldn't want to listen to this guy, obviously. <laughs> for Pastron and for Rhett McGibbon, thank you again.